Hey guys, thanks for coming in for a video today. I'm really glad you're here. I hope to open a jar in just a minute. I just want to wait for a few people to walk in the door. I hope you're not in a big rush because um, we may take a little while with this jar. It's kind of small, but sometimes they're tangled and they take a little bit of time. So I'm going to try to open up the chat in another window. It looks like one person has popped in. Thank you so much for being here. Um, and then we'll get started, guys. I, uh, I have been looking through a lot of jewelry, trying to get my lots ready for the auction that I'm going to be on come December the 1st on MSP Auction Show. I will leave you, leave you all of that information in the description box uh, of that, you know, as my videos get closer to that time. Whoa then i'll do that let me see if i can open up a window real quick looks like 19 viewers are here thank you guys so much i have not done it face to face in a while so that's why i want to test it as well to see how i'm going to show the jewelry oh i see something pretty in this jar now that i hadn't seen before i'm so happy that it looks like it may be promising so I'm going to be probably doing this type of video when i do the msp auction that's why i want to practice uh, holding it up correctly and seeing what my stream is like because lately my stream has been pretty good I did have that upgrade and um, It's been pretty good. I think there's been just a few instances of it buffering and I haven't done it really that much with my Mac face-to-face. -face, so that's what I want to test today So let me open up this window here All right, Granny Josie, how are you, Guillermo? Good to see you, Sherry, Susan, Joan, and Shelly. How is the stream? How is the sound? I muted it here on the screen, and I normally mute it on the keyboard. So let me know if I, if it's not echoing, or if it is echoing, <laughs> and how it's looking so far. And thank you guys so much for hitting that thumbs up as soon as you walk in the door. Yeah, I'm going to do a little jewelry jar live and um, see how that goes. I don't think it will take up too much time because I am anxious to go to the auction later. Get ready to, not the auction, but the sale, the Sunday sale that Makeup Zombie puts on. And um, so we're going to get started in just a minute. I hope that you guys have taken the, those of you who are not subscribed, take the time to do do that so hit the notification bell right next to the subscription button because that will let you know when I put up a new video and it'll let you know when I go live but you must act upon the notification if you don't act upon it right away or at least a few times then uh, YouTube will stop sending you notifications so I hope you guys will do that Francis how are you and Rick Smith Thank you so much for being here. Pam's Treasures as well. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, we'll get started then. Um, I got this small jar, and another reason I want to start doing the jars, opening the ones that I have left, is because I'm going to be uh, auctioning off a virgin jar. And I coined that phrase on the MSP Auction Show about a year ago, which stands for the fact that this is not curated. This is not put together by me. This is not something that I put, put, put meticulously together, which is wonderful when people do that and they match up things. But a lot of the fun is in the not knowing. And that's what I love about jars. And I think that's what you will like. And um, this is a small one. It was marked $24.99. It is pretty small, but it's been pretty average over there where they do. And I'm kind of glad they do the small ones too, because sometimes you don't want to spend $50 on a big old bag, right? Uh, but I haven't really been paying attention so much as to the quality of them and um you know trying to remember where i got each one because i want you to kind of give me a gauge as to which virgin jar i should offer i'm thinking the bigger the better though don't you so we'll get started again i paid about 20 
I think I paid about $17.50 actually with my discount, but it was marked $24.99. I did see this little red thing over here in the corner that looked like some kind of a jasper or agate or something, like a bloodstone. I don't know. I'm making up these terms. I don't even know if they exist. Bloodstone? Does that exist? Hey, frugal gal, how are you? Okay. We're going to get started. And then now I saw this butterfly thing that you can barely see. So we're going to pour it out and see what's in it. How's your Sunday going so far, guys? Mine's going pretty good, pretty nice. Weather's really good. It is chilly. No rain, though, so that's always good. And last night I had a wonderful time. I did not go to the auction at MSP Auction because I was out with friends celebrating a 50th birthday. And it was wonderful. They had it at a winery called the, I think it's called the Cellar Door or something. In one of the suburbs out here. And it was so nice. She has, she's a gourmet herself. She's a nurse by trade, but, but she's a true gourmet. Her husband is from France. So they love their wine and it was fabulous. Oh my gosh, such good wine, such good food. It was great. Hey, Bougie Bear, how are you, April? So it's wonderful to be able to get out for a while, you know? And uh, mingle with friends. These are actually neighbors of ours. And they moved away, gosh, a good five years ago. They moved away from this neighborhood to a really, took, took an hour and a half to get to the other suburb. But she's always maintained a friendship with us, and she's wonderful. And we all got to know. Okay, I guess I'm back. Anyway, so we started this friendship uh, when we started a play group about 15 years ago My when my youngest was about four. Ah, oh, there it goes. There it goes. I'm back. I'm gone. I'm back. I'm gone. Yeah, this is going to stop. I'm calling the internet again tomorrow. Because she told me when I called her back, I did call her back when I was having trouble with my phone. She said, oh, we just had to, we just had to update the software because we gave you the new internet. It's always some excuse. They're coming tomorrow, I'm telling you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kathleen, for being here. So we started a play group a long time ago. We became friends. Then we started a dinner group. Then we started a, a ladies' game night. And we've just been friends ever since, you know, neighbors and friends. And that's a wonderful thing. Okay, I got a pen that says... I thought it said Texas, but it says something else, and you can't really see it. Slant. I think it's a baseball team or something. Don't really care for that. I am going to pour it out, and I think I see some liquid silver right off the top. So that might be good. I love liquid silver. I'm going to start pouring a little bit of this out. Kathleen, thanks for being here. I think it's said hello to you. Vanessa, how are you? How's the weather up in Florida or down in Florida next to me? How's the weather getting over there? Oh, it's horrible what's happening in California. If you guys are affected by that, I'm so sorry, and I hope things get better quick. Okay. Um, let me pull out that liquid silver that I saw. It was kind of small, but it, it looked interesting. Okay. Well, here, I thought I saw another one, though. This one looks like it has blue uh, tiger eye beads. 
Can you guys see that okay? And I'm going to try to use this little thing. See, like I said, I want to get ready for that option. And I, sometimes this black one reflects my lighting kind of off. What do you think about that? This looks like liquid silver. I don't know if it's genuine silver. I'll have to test it. Where's my magnet? I thought I had my magnet in here. So I got a little magnet. No, it's not that little. It's pretty powerful. Let's see what happens here. I think it's sticking. I think it is sticking. Yeah, it's attracting it a little bit. So it's probably not real silver, but they are pretty little beads. They look like tiger eye beads. Can you guys see that okay? You like the heat? I don't like the heat. I would rather have a little chill in the air. Now, I don't think I could live in Chicago cold. I went there when it got as low as, I think, 10 below, and I've never experienced such pain in my life, and I'm not anxious to do it again. But I know, you, you know, nobody forced me to go downtown shopping between the <laughs> really getting the brunt of all that wind, right? But it was a lot of fun. <laughs> but, man, you need to get used to that kind of severe weather but i'm already preparing with a new wardrobe i found some wonderful uh what is it the north face the north face jacket hey elizabeth how are you yeah i've i've already been packing up some new items to wear it's the only chance i get to wear winter clothes you know if i buy me a winter coat i wear it maybe once all right these are really pretty and these look like lapis earrings I don't know if I'll be able to find the mate to it, but they look like little lapis beads. I don't know about that wire, though. It doesn't look like a sterling wire. But we'll check it, and hopefully these are cute earrings. Look at that. This was a nice little set. This is Signature New York City. So it's three sets of earrings. It's nice. Not bad for a $17 jar. I'm already liking what I'm seeing here. Not bad at all. Guys, I had to chop off all my nails. They started breaking on me. And they started breaking really, really low. And they're so painful when they do that. So I had to cut them, trim them all. And I just put a, like a clay-colored nail polish on them. They're kind of left. They're kind of, these are really cute. I love the rose-colored gold. These are nice. Very nice. And the long wires like that are pretty. Oh, I got an elephant. Wow, that's cute. I got a nice elephant pendant on a chain. You see how you cannot scoff at these small jars. Sometimes they're really good. And last time I think I showed you guys some of those $20 jars. Well, they were little tiny bags, like sandwich bags. And they had Monet in there and everything. They were really nice. So this is why I may have to offer you guys two jars if they want <laughs> your choice, you know. One will go maybe. A little higher than the other but you just never know this is really nice it's got like a little heart stone and some rhinestones on the body i like the way the ear is kind of um, a brushed finish so it's got some contrast and it's got some open work really pretty i like that yeah sandy k how are you i'm glad you're here yeah i like that pendant that's beautiful Here's a cute watch. Let's see what brand it is. No brand. I do like the white faces. I'm not that crazy about the white strap, though, because it can get a little messy, especially leather. But no, the plastic is the one that turns kind of yellow and dingy. That's what I don't like. But that's a nice one. I'm filling up my box of watches, I'll tell you. Okay, this is like a broken piece here, but it's pretty. I think it should have been a clasp because it has a lot of like loops where you could attach strands. I think it's part of a, you know, um, what do you call it? I don't know what you call it. The little end part of the necklace where you would attach like multi strands. Hey, Carla, how are you? Princess Casserole. You getting ready for a wedding? Oh, how wonderful. Gosh, isn't it great when you have a lot of jewelry though and you could just say, oh, I'm going to wear this. Oh, this will look perfect. That's what I love. I actually had my neighbor come and ask me one night because she knows what I do. 
She says, do you have a simple little rhinestone? I was, no. <laughs> but she found something to wear. She was going to a Christmas party. Here's a really interesting wood necklace. Big, bold beads. And she came into my room and found something hanging that she liked. And it A couple of pieces of jewelry. I could never do that. I could never be that way. Hey, Harley Grant, how are you? Thank you. I'm wearing a an amber ring. Oh, there I go again. God, I hate that. I'm wearing the amber ring I found for twelve dollars at the Goodwill. That has a really pretty little setting around it too. Uh, I got this turquoise on posh. That's the little pinky ring I got from Sandy. Of course, I got this at a thrift store. The jersey I got from Sandy and uh, the citrine that I scored with the dragons all around it. And then here's that copper one wrap around. I think I got that on Macari. I'm always searching Macari. Okay, here's the earring. Now, I hope we have the other one because this is sterling. Gosh, I hope it's not just one. Mm -hmm. Mexico 925. Here it is. I love this classic sun motif. I call it the sun motif design. And you guys can tell me what stone that is. I wanted to say bloodstone, <laughs> agate. I don't know. I don't know that much about the names, but I know you guys do. So let me know. It's kind of um, a rust with black spots, black spotting type. And they're clip. And I love when they're clip because to me that's vintage. And the Mexican vintage jewelry really sells. Oh, I like that. Oh, I found these earrings too in a jar last time. I showed you those, Sterling. I love them too because they're very lightweight. All right, let's hope and pray we get the match to this beautiful earring. What kind of stone is it? Does anybody know? Agate or maybe Jasper. That was the other name that eluded me, April. Jasper, yes. Oh, look at this pretty bracelet. This is nice. This looks like something like Stella and Dot or something. For some reason, it reminds me of that style. It is a mesh, multi-strand, and it has some rhinestones. Yeah, this bag was definitely worth the $17, guys. I would have spent a lot more than that if these would have been priced individually on the counter. You know they would have been four or so dollars a piece. This is really pretty, and I love the color of the silver. It almost has like a, a built-in patina. Yes, I think that small, small jar is nice. That's why I'm telling you when I do the auction, I'm going to be like dumbfounded because, you know, I've had huge bags where I was greatly disappointed and I paid $60 for it. And then I've had the little bags that I paid $16 for it, found that gold boulevard, solid gold boulevard, found a lot of vintage Monet last time. Thank you, Harley, for reminding them about the thumbs up. Yeah, guys, be sure and hit the thumbs up. Be sure and subscribe. Share the video if you can. Put it in your social media. Let's get this channel growing a little bit. All right, a little pinky ring. And it looks like, oh, looks like it might be silver. Yeah, this is cute. It is a tiny little pinky ring. Look, it doesn't even fit my pinky. I'll have to make it a, a halfway ring. It looks like a little chevron, or maybe it's a logo. It does say sterling. That's cute. I can't tell if it's enamel because it almost looks navy and not black. Can you guys see that? Yeah, or a bird or something. That'll make a nice halfway ring. Not bad. Because uh, it does kind, of, it does kind of look navy, so I can't really tell. And it almost looks like a set of wings or something. Okay, this is an obvious faux turquoise, but it's cute. It's a little bit larger as well, so that'll go into my stretch bracelet lot. And here's the other part of that broken. So there's two of them. Crafted a lot, I guess. I need to start getting that together. Here's a pretty watch still tagged for $32. Wow. It's pretty, too. It's rose gold. Oh, it's shattered. What a bummer. That almost looks kind of cool, though. <laughs> almost looks like ice. What a shame. It does have a shatter, uh, shattered crystal there. It's Aeropostale. 
Yeah, what a shame. And they were selling it for $32. Hmm. Well, well, well. That's too bad. Lots of bling on it, too. I have to put that in a crafter lot. Uh, here's a butterfly. Okay, here's the butterfly I was looking at. This is cute. It is a pendant necklace on a uh, antique finish chain. I like when they put the pendants like that, when they're kind of attached from both sides of the uh, pendant. It sits really pretty like that. It's pretty. It's enameled. Gold tone. Is this black velvet reflecting too much light, guys, or is it okay? Because I really want to make sure that you guys can see when I do the auction on the first. That's a pretty, pretty necklace. It does not have any kind of a mark that I see, but it's very nicely done. It's almost done. The enamel, the paint or the design on the paint makes it look almost like uh, stained glass. It has that those properties and those elements. Really pretty. I like that. Okay, we got a strand of uh, seafoam pearls right here. These are nice. They feel really nice. They don't feel cheap. How long is the chain? Oh, I would say on the butterfly, I would say 16. This, but it, no, maybe longer, maybe 18, because it's got that big extension. So I would say it probably lengthens to about a 20, 21, 22, something like that. Okay, here's a little bracelet with some crystals. That's cute. Just a little crystal bracelet. Okay, I'm going to empty some more of the jar. See if see it was stuck. See what else we get out. It's like a statement piece is in here. Sometimes these things are stuck, guys. Oops, look what we got. Yay, bingo. Bingo, we got the two earrings. This is a good $40 already. So, yeah, we've pretty much tripled what I paid. We got the sterling silver clip-on Mexican vintage clip-on earrings with, we haven't decided what, what it could be, jasper, agate. I don't know, but it's very pretty. So that's nice. Yeah, and that's the only thing I saw from the jar, from the, you know, when I was looking at it as quickly as I was looking at it, that made me decide to go ahead and get it because I think I left like three jars behind. Um, that always makes me feel like kicking myself when I find something nice. But you know, sometimes you can only spend so much, right? And you're like, I just start, need to start selling this stuff too, you know? Not just buying, buying, buying. All right. Looks like two statement pieces are in here, and this one's like a choker. And then here's a package of Claire's. Oh, this is um, this is body jewelry. This is like for the eyebrows, I believe. For some facial piercings. So that was in there. Okay. Let me see who else popped in the chat. Let me get a drink of water real quick. I would be excited about about that, Kathleen. I think people love collecting things from the first ladies. You know, a tribute to them or some kind of homage to them. I think it would be wonderful to find something like that. I really do. Yeah. All right. You think it looks like a tulip? What, the, the butterfly? I don't know. All right, here's the choker. Well, it's just the choker. I thought it was holding something, but it's just a little wire. The bead at the end, it's not holding anything. I thought it was part of this. Okay, this is really pretty. This is genuine abalone shell. I can tell by the back of it. Love the blue in the front very, very much. Very rich color, and it's just a little statement necklace. That's a nice one. Very nice. I love the way they do this. It almost looks like a mermaid's tail or something. Isn't that pretty? That is really pretty. I like that a lot. Yeah, that's a nice piece, guys. Really nice. 
Do y'all like that one? Isn't that cute? Hey, Miss Chris, how are you? Hey, Reverend Michelle, how are you doing? And Ana Reyes, nice to have you guys here. Oh, look at this, guys. I love when people do this. Some people have such a good eye for design. Uh, Elizabeth has a wonderful eye for design. I saw her DIY videos on making mirrors and uh, what did she make? She made a tray to hold jewelry. She made phone cases and she's got an ex exceptional eye for design and color combination and everything. Yeah, this is cute. It's a little bracelet. It looks very, I don't know, kind of 80s or just really pretty, but kind of a an homage to the Victorian era as well with all those pretty flowers. But then it's got that really bright rhinestone. That's a cute little necklace. I mean, bracelet. It's really cute. I like it. I like that a lot. That is cool. Ooh, these are pretty. Let's hope we have a match on these pretty earrings. I don't see it off the bat, but this is a beautiful earring. Gold tone, pink crystals. It's truly a chandelier style earring. How's that looking there? I don't want to get too excited because I hope I find the other one. It's beautiful. Put that in my gold tone for now till the other one shows. Oh, here's a jersey. Cute. Um, just a gold tone necklace with kind of a black jersey at the top. Also with an extender on it. That's pretty nice. That's pretty. That would make a very nice um, layering piece because it's got sort of a silvery tone to the druzy as well. I like that. Yeah, I think that black velvet is kind of drowning out. You guys let me know in the comment section. Or if you come back at the replay, leave your comments there too, how this is looking, because I really want to maximize the exposure to the jewelry when I do the auction. You know, it's, oh, I found it, yay! Another bingo, double bingo night, look at that. I love this one, and it's lightweight. I love when they have that festoon type of draping around it, it's so cute. Hey, Cindy, thank you so much. I'm glad you're here. Jude, did I say hello to you? Thank you for being here, Jude. Okay, what is this? This is interesting. I think this is should have been a charm holder. It says it's 5 o'clock somewhere. And it's got a signature. Ladrita or Lolita? I don't know. I guess you would hang that somewhere on a on a chain, maybe from these ends. That's cute, though. And I guess I don't know how you would add more charms, though. But that's pretty. It's got a little clock motif, and it says it's five o'clock somewhere, and it says five o'clock on the clock. Very cute. All right, they want it six dollars for this statement necklace at one time. It's really pretty. It looks kind of like angel skin. That's a very pretty color. I like that. Hey, Donna Reed. Yeah, different color backgrounds. That's what I'm doing. I think I'm going to get, because the other one that I have is really small. And it doesn't hold the necklaces very well. So I'm going to, maybe I'll paint this one. Maybe I'll get some paint and paint it another color. Because this black seems to really drown it out. I don't know why. When it, the light reflects on it a certain way. I'll try that. You'll be seeing me do a lot of these close-up, face-to-face, not close-up, but face-to-face -face videos this week so we can get this nice and ready. And I know some people don't like it, but you know what? Like I said before, you can't please everyone, right? This is cool. This is a tie bar chain, but it looks like it's very well made. Nice chain on it. Does not feel cheap at all. This is a gentleman's accessory here. Let me see if it gets picked up by the magnet. 
Because a lot of times, that was my knife that got picked up, guys. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's getting picked up, but not very much. So maybe it's stainless or something. It's cute. It's nice. I think someone will like that. Very, very nice. Okay. And here's some more of these charms. Uh, again, oh, look, this one even has the five. Again, the same theme, five o'clock somewhere, and it's got the five with rhinestones. It's so cute. Thank you, Robin. That is a cute little idea. Here's a pretty necklace. Yeah, this is really nice. $17, guys, is what I paid for this bag. Be sure and hit the thumbs up, guys, if you're just walking in. Don't forget to subscribe as well. I think you'll enjoy the content here. We do talk a lot about jewelry, but I do bag hauls and thrift hauls and other types of hauls. So be sure and come back and watch more videos. All right, there's a little tangle on it, but you can get the gist here. It's really pretty. It's got a nice medallion, beaded kind of rosary links there. Somebody told me they were called rosary links. I don't know. If you have a better name, let me know. <gasps> Super pretty. I love it. It's like a root beer color. Very pretty cognac root beer color on the stones and then kind of an antique finish on the chain. Very cool. I like that. Okay. We do have some tingles. This is pretty too. This is on that, I'm so glad it's not that wire. It's more of a chain. And it's also in an antique. Actually, this is more of a gunmetal finish on there. And these are crystal beads. Or they look like glass. I mean, they look like crystal. They may be glass. This is a very nice one. Really pretty colors of citrine. Uh, kind of a moonstone, not a moonstone, but uh, maybe a tiger eye in gold, rose. This is cute. I like this. Very, very nice. And I don't see a marker on that. A maker, rather. All right. Cute hoops coming up. They're stars. These are super cute. I love These would be so cute. Man, these should be sterling or something. They're too pretty to not be. There's like a 3D star in the middle, dangling down the middle there. And the star has like little beads. I mean, it's pretty intricate. Really cool. I love dangle hoops more than regular hoops. They're very hard to find, especially in sterling. Can you see that star? The star's actually 3D. And it's got like, a, it almost looks like that. Mexican star that they use a lot in Christmas decorations. I don't know what they call them. Oh, these are cute. Let's see if they don't stick. Yeah, they do. They, they're not sterling, but they are sure pretty. I'm going to keep those. That's back there. <laughs> Definitely keeping those. Those are cute. Let me say hello to more people in the chat. Maybe I missed somebody. Did I say hello to Robin? How are you? Donna Reed, what a beautiful name. Um, Against the Grain is here as well. All right, let's keep going then. Here's a brooch, a very pretty brooch. I may have seen this one too. And this, somebody, oh, I forgot the name of this. That cloudy looking glass, I forgot the name of it. And then it's got a little painting of floral in the center. It's really nice. A little brooch. All right, Michelle Lee, I'll try to remember that against the grain, Michelle Lee, against the grain, Michelle Lee. I'll try to remember that. Yeah, I forgot what they call this glass that's, um, oh, I saw it in one of Angie's posts, I think, on Instagram. And then I realized I had something, a ring that, Miss Sandy's actually fixing for me like that. That uh, some of the filigree fell off of it, and she's fixing that for me. And I forgot the name of it. And I, now I forgot again. 
All right, we did find the little lapis colored match. Might just be a bead, but it's definitely a lapis color. Very pretty. So we'll take those out of there. I spent like an hour and a half matching up some of these earrings yesterday, but I matched up about 70 pairs. So it was good. It was productive. All right, another set of these. This one has the cocktail hour. Now we're getting busy. Now we're getting busy again. It says five o'clock. Where did these go? These are so cute. And it's got the little martini or margarita or something back in the back. They're so cute. Michelle Lee was an actress. And then we have Donna Reed. That's right. And I knew Donna Reed. I don't remember Michelle Lee. I don't know why I can't remember her. Okay, here's a cute little pendant. It's got the initial F, just a little kid's jewelry, I would say. Kind of sparkly, has the initial F on it. Nice chain, though. Might be able to use the chain on another piece. Yeah, because I get so many pendants. Here's a green. I actually have the earrings that match this, but they're square. I just matched them up yesterday. This is cute. Yeah, I get tons and tons of pendants. And um, they do sell better. Okay, here's the other liquid silver that I initially saw. And it's cute. It has like a CZ on it, but it's tangled up with something else. So let me see if I can get it out. Oh, my goodness. Let me in. Yeah, this is sterling. Liquid silver. I lost the pendant. Here it goes. See, it's got the little, here's the chain, liquid silver. It's got the clasp, that all, the little lobster clasp, I guess it is. I don't know. I don't know what they call this particular clasp, but it definitely says 925 on it. Let me hang the pendant back on it. It's got a very pretty CZ or crystal and a pearl. And let me take another look at it so I can see if it's marked as well. Yeah, it's marked 925 too. So it was good. This was a good little jar and it's really pretty. There it is. It's got an emerald cut crystal or CZ, a pearl. A tiny little pearl, it's probably genuine, dangling off the bottom. It's got some of that beadwork at the bottom as well. Yeah, that black thing does not work. It's totally drowning it out. I'm going to get rid of it. Sorry about that, guys. Like I said, we're practicing to make sure that um, I can do this better and better. Yeah, this is cute. This is a very nice one. And I love the liquid silver no, chain. Actually, you know what? It's not liquid silver. It really looked like it to me. It's not because it's tarnished. It looked like liquid silver, but it's not. It's just like a snake chain. Yeah, it's like a snake chain. So that's cool. I like that. More of these five thing charms. I'm going to have to look these up on eBay or something or sell them as a crafter piece because there are tons of them here's another really cute one and this one looks like a book enameled it says yeah again it says it's five o'clock somewhere these are so cute tons of them i must have seven easily boy i keep looking at that chain and it looks like liquid silver but it's not oh look at this this is cute and exotic. And it's got like another thing hanging. That is interesting. Let's see if I can put it up on this wheel. I'm messing it up. Looks like a little gypsy or belly dancing jewelry. But then it has a long dangling chain with a ring at the bottom. So that's pretty cool. That's and it's gold tone with kind of a black 
gunmetal. That's very interesting and very heavy. Nicely made. And that's a little bit of the shell that fell off that other necklace. Here's a crystal bracelet, handmade, obviously. I like the little dangle they put on it. That's also a little bit large. That's a really pretty dangle. I like that. Yeah, that one's pretty. Okay, more five o'clocks. I actually love clock motifs. I was a really big fan of Alice in Wonderland, and I love the rabbit. And I had so many rubber stamps and motifs with that. I just love it. Uh, I love watches. I love clocks. I used to collect clocks a lot. I used to have quite a collection of clocks. One of the actually the very first thing I ever sold on eBay was a Peter Max clock. Gorgeous, gorgeous clock. And that was what what got me motivated to start selling on eBay was that I, I wanted to sell that clock. I knew it would garner some interest. Okay, just some little beads, pearl beads on a nice little bracelet. And some really pretty earrings. They do have a match. They're kind of purple. I think they're plastic. They don't feel very heavy, but they're pretty. So these are nice. And then these are matched too. Lots of matched earrings. That's always nice. Well, these are different. They're hoops and then they're pierced. Then they have little dingles. It's definitely five o'clock somewhere. Oh, I, I, I hope you guys got to finish hearing my story in the beginning. You just never know what's going to happen with the stream. It kind of sometimes garbles up all your stories, but don't want to waste too much time. That's a pretty little necklace. And these actually look like some Miriam Haskell that I'll be offering in an earring lot at the auction. But the Miriam Haskell that I have are a lot bigger. I think they're like probably from the 70s because they're made out of this. It almost looks like rubber or I don't know. It's got like an interesting texture in these balls, these beads rather. But I only see one. I don't see the other. Oh, well, here's a pretty crystal necklace. Okay, I call necklaces bracelets and bracelets necklaces. Sorry about that. This is a bracelet, and it's pretty. It's very tiny, though. Kind of clear crystal beads. Looks really small. So I think that's it, guys. I think that's all I got for you today. Uh, I do, do have some earrings. Okay. Do these look like they broke? No, they're two together. There they are. There they are. Aren't those cute? Okay. I do want to have a giveaway today, guys. Before we sign off, I'm going to give away a beautiful lot of bracelets. Now, these aren't going to be just the throwaway bangles that you can't stand that uh, infiltrate every bag. These will be a nice collection. So I'm going to give away the, the, uh, it's huge. And I'll probably just pack it in, um, in a, what do you call it? Flat rate. So if you were here when I started the, the video, and if you recall what I was talking about, and if you're the first one to answer the question, then you just have to email me at Thelma Hordes, as in hoarder, ThelmaHordes.com, and give me your address when you get this question, question correct. So the question is really simple. I was telling you that I spent the night last night, missed the auction because I was celebrating a friend's neighbor's birthday, 50th birthday. Well, where did I celebrate it? I mentioned it. First one who can remember and write it in the chat will win that lot of bracelets from me today. Hope you guys remember. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so glad that you thought it was nice, Jude. It was not in a house. Guillermo got it. Excellent, Guillermo. I'll send that out to you. It was at a wine place. It was a winery. Yes. Wonderful. Wonderful. All right. Congratulations to Guillermo. He was the first one to put down a wine place. That was a great place, guys. 
And then, like I said, my my friend, she's um, she's from New Orleans originally, but she was raised here in Texas. Met her husband at a wedding in France. Her husband is French. They love wine. They love good food, and it was such fun. I will talk to you guys soon, Guillermo. I'm not sure if I still have your email, but just refreshing it with a new email. I mean, if I still have your address, because I know you've won one of my other contests. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. We'll see each other at uh, Makeup Zombies Sunday Sale. If you're not subscribed to her, she is in the chat. Scroll down to her name, subscribe to her. Be sure and hit the bell for her as well, so you can be notified when she does her Sunday sales. And I'll talk to you guys very soon. Thanks so much for everything.